Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Welcome to the joy of homemaking. I'm hoping that you guys are all having a blessed day. As you can see, look at that beautiful sky. We got some rain last night over here in Anaheim, California. Um, yeah, I was actually listening to the rain as I slept last night. And I remember when I closed my eyes, I can tell, you know, rain was coming. Definitely can tell, you know. So glory to God for that because we do need the rain. actually headed over to one of my favorite stores just a few minutes from my house um, it's in the next city over which is the city of Garden Grove what is your favorite store to shop at leave some comments down below and do you guys like Ralph's Market I like Ralph's Market some people assume like Ralph's is too expensive to shop at but that's not necessarily true and I used to be an Instacart shopper and a shipped shopper um s-h-i-p-t shipped that's another um grocery delivery service um yeah so i've been to almost every store you can think of <clears throat> over here in orange county <clears throat> in la even some little you know mom and pop um stores so yeah what's your favorite store leave some comments down below what a beautiful sky that is i just love the air after it rains it's so fresh it feels cleaner yeah, so that's what the water does, right? Water is for refreshing to cleanse. You know, God made water um, for a certain reason. It's definitely to cleanse and to purify, right? So glory to God for some clean air, some purification. Okay, so I'm approaching the Ralph's Market. Now they do have a Walgreens next to the store a gas station and then there's a starbucks coffee house if anybody's in the area you want to know what's nearby and i try to park a little way from the door to get my steps in you know yeah so where do i want to park uh, let's see why do i want to go over here let me do that let's go right here i always like to park close to the shopping cart Areas so I can put my cart away. <laughs> Beautiful sky. Look at that. So gorgeous. God's artwork. Okay, so I just left the market, you guys. I didn't feel like filming, but I will be showing you guys what I purchased. Got two bunches of Chiquita bananas. Every now and then, who doesn't like some yummy gummy bears? So I got this big bag. I believe this was $5.49. Got two big bags of Gala, a Kroger brand, five pound um, apples, um, just for snacking or just whatever. Now um, there's a digital coupon for $3.47 per bag. Usually these are five a piece. These are the larger size kettle brand uh, kettle chips. So I have a truffle oil and sea salt, which I really like. I got two of the backyard barbecue and one honey Dijon I haven't tried yet. So I'm looking forward to trying that. These chips are pretty good. I was craving donuts. So these are the sour cream donuts um, by this brand called Bakery Fresh Goodness. Yeah, so these are $5. And then I got one pack of the Oscar Mayer uncured uh, turkey sausage hardwood smoke i'm going to be adding this to the black eye peas that i'll be making for the family okay so this concludes my shop here at ralph's market as you can tell it's just a small little shop now i'm going to go home and prepare this turkey meatloaf and the black eye peas two thousand years later
Okay, so next I'll be preparing my famous ground turkey meatloaf. This is the three pound pack that I always use. Um, I actually just add the seasoning to my liking, just like how I did with the beans, you guys. Add whatever herbs, whatever you want to it. There's not a, a right or wrong way you could do these, both of these dishes as far as the seasoning. But with the meatloaf, um, I do put like a cup of Parmesan cheese. I put a cup of um, Italian breadcrumbs. This is the first street brand seasoned. I do a cup of ketchup, two brown eggs, or it doesn't really matter, just two large eggs. Um, for the spices, I put sea salt, I put pepper, I put garlic powder, and I put some onion powder. I usually take some carrots and shred those up into my Ninja blender and it chops it up really, really tiny. I believe I have the recipe posted on this channel, you guys. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'll try to link it for you guys. Um, and then if I don't have carrots, you can actually use a sweet potato instead, but I'm not gonna be doing either one of those. I'm just gonna be using what I have right here um, on the screen, you guys, so minus the carrots, but it is an option. And also the sweet potato as well. So you just wanna make sure you have a large bowl because you're gonna, um, I consider this a dump meal because all I'm doing is just putting everything into this bowl, um, mixing it all up by hand, and then I'm gonna take it over here to my deep dish Pyrex. This is the nine by 13. You don't have to grease it or anything like that. Um, you're gonna bake, um, shape the meatloaf into the pan. Then you're gonna bake it on 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on your oven. So for the exact measurements, I just wanna show you guys really quick. This is my tablespoon, my teaspoon. So I do two teaspoons of salt one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of garlic, and four to six tablespoons of onion powder. So this is everything thrown into the bowl, uh, minus the carrots, like I said, or sweet potato that you can use as optional. Um, and you can use beef as well, but this is my recipe for turkey. Um, I really don't care for beef because I think beef is a little bit dry. It's a little oily. I really love the um, ground turkey version. So the ground turkey is underneath all this. So I'm just going to hand mix it by hand. Okay, so the meatloaf is ready to go. I'm going to be popping this in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. You guys, the beans are smelling so good. So I'll be cooking these. I really don't have a set time. But what I do, I just keep an eye out since I'm cooking it over the stove and just cooking it until the beans become tender. You'll know. So just keep um, looking out for the beans and keep checking on them. They smell so good. So if you want to cook your beans faster, I do recommend using a pressure cooker if possible. Okay, ladies. So I got both um, the beans there. I got the meatloaf baking. So I'm just going to relax now and enjoy some more scripture reading time enjoying the rest of this vacation you guys because it's so much needed i do a lot of a lot of driving um monday through friday so um we got a few more days just to kick back and have a break from that freeway um sorry i'm eating the gummy bears but anyway um i think i'll come back and show you guys when everything's finished look at that junk but it's okay i'm on vacation mode so I'll come back and show y'all, show you guys how both dishes came out. Don't forget to check out that meatloaf video. I think if I have it posted, I got to look. I think I do, I do have that video, but what I'll do, I'll leave the link for you guys so you can see the full recipe.